Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here with another art journal video. I decided today to work on my 6x6 art journal and I am browsing through all the pages that I have already made for you just to take a look. Each and every one of those pages is a different video on my YouTube channel. Now in the last pages of this book I have been experimenting with uh, alcohol inks for my backgrounds and I absolutely love them so I decided to play one more time with those and uh, especially for today I am going to play with a new tool that I have in my stash which is the alcohol lift ink and I will show you later on how I'm going to use it. Now I'm going to pick up one of those uh, Yupo papers and I'm going to cut it out to size. My art journal pages are 6x6 six six and I'm going to cut out the Yupo paper to be slightly smaller, about 55 by 55 and this way when I stick my Yupo paper on top of my page it is not going to block the holes for the discs. And now it's time to have some fun on my Yupo paper. I am going to use my blending solution, a straw, because that's the technique that I absolutely love. I'm also going to use three different alcohol inks and you can see the colors that I'm using on your screen right now. I'm applying blending solution on my Yupo paper and I was quite generous with that. And now I'm going to add my three colors. The blending solution is going to help the ink to move around when I will blow with my straw. So I have all the color there. Now I will start uh, blowing until I'm happy with the outcome. I want these colors to blend enough, but at the same time I still want to see some variation of the color and I want, uh, don't want to end up with a flat color on my page. Once in a while I stop blowing and uh, let the inks do their thing. And just because I use the blending solution, I do have uh, a big window of blowing time before the inks dry completely on me. And to tell you the truth, this is so much fun that you don't know when to stop. So anyway, at some point I stopped blowing, I left uh, the inks dry completely and here is what I have. Now I'm going to do another favorite technique which is foiling. I'm using this silver foil and I'm going to apply it over my Yupo paper. Now there are areas where uh, the ink is still quite sticky. So this is uh, where the silver foil is going to grab and it's going to give some uh, lovely shiny details on my background. And now it's time to have some fun with the alcohol lifting. For that I will be using this background stamp which has a beautiful text on top. This is from an older collection and I need to make sure that this rubber stamp is completely clean. It looks a little bit stained but I made sure that it is totally clean. Now I'm going to apply my alcohol uh, lift ink on top. I'm going to stamp on my Yupo paper and uh, when I lift the stamp you won't be able to see anything just yet. And another fun thing is that you can stamp on a piece of paper and you can see the image, which is a great technique which I won't be using for today's project, but uh, I'm sure I will be using in a future one. So I will continue stamping with my ink and it looks invisible, but you will see that everything is going to start and appear on my background and it's going to give this ghost effect. Now I'm going to use a clean paper towel and I'm going to dab over where I have stamped and notice that I'm not rubbing, I'm just dabbing for the moment until I can start to see the image. I'm also switching to a clean area of my paper towel and now I can go ahead and start rubbing, removing that ink and just like magic all that stamping has appeared and it gives that ghost look. I absolutely love this background and I'm super super happy that uh, Tim Holtz came up with this ink. And now I can move on to my usual techniques. I am using some stamps and uh, my black archival ink. I am going all around the edges to add some uh, black borders. And again I'm using stamps from the Etc stamp set. I have been using this again and again. I think it's one of my most used stamps for art journaling. And as usual you will find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using for this art journal down below in the description area as well as on my blog. 
I have already applied some black uh, acrylic paint all around my 6x6 page and now at the back of my Yubo paper I'm going to add some double sided tape of course you can use any type of glue that you like I find that um, sticky tape is uh, strong enough to make a good bond between the paper and the Yupo and now I can place it on top making sure that I don't cover up the holes that I have there for the discs of my disc bound journal I'm working again on Yupo paper I have applied my blending solution and now I will mix up some colors the idea here is to create some areas of um, color, colorful areas where I can stamp later on my focal points for the project so uh, you can see the colors that I'm using on your screen right now and you will find everything linked below as always, you can see that I'm using again the same technique where I am applying my ink over the blending solution and I'm blowing with a straw to help everything blend together. And now I have picked up three butterflies. They all come from the same stamp set which is called Flutter and I'm going to stamp them in different areas of my Yubo paper. And the Yupo paper that I'm using is actually cardstock, it's quite thick so it makes uh, perfect focal points. Now I'm going to stamp all three of them and I'm going to use my scissors to cut them out. Now I also want you to see that this is not perfect stamping. As you can see the um, impression I'm getting is not perfect but this is not a problem. Remember this is uh, just an art journal and you will not even notice the imperfections at the finished project. So now I'm going to use my scissors, cut out all the butterflies. And before I stick them down, I want to add some splashes. This is a detail that I always like to do on my backgrounds. So here I am with some uh, thin, water thin uh, gesso and a very thin brush. And I'm using my heat gun just to make sure that uh, those splashes are completely dry before I do the next step. Now I have uh, brought out my Posca pens, a fine uh, white one and a fine black one. I am placing the butterflies where about I want them to go and then I'm going to use my uh, pens to do some scribbling. I'm not trying to create the perfect circles. I am also doing some doodling around them and I will use both white and black and this is where I will nest my little butterflies. Now I want to have some dimension on my page and that's why I will not stick the butterflies completely flat on my page. I am using my bone folder to add some uh, dimension on uh, the um, wings and I'm also adding some uh, foam squares at the back of the wings. And notice that I haven't added anything at the center of the butterfly. You will see what I will do later on. So now I will repeat the same process for all three of the butterflies and nest them on the little uh, scribbled circles that I have already created there. And now I'm going to use my pick tool and I'm going to create holes at the top and at the bottom of each butterfly. I always like to incorporate different textures on my art journal so I thought it would be fun to do some sewing with some white thread. So this is what I'm going to do and give my butterflies a white body. The white details match perfectly with the white splashes at the back so I think that uh, this uh, little detail brings everything together. To make sure that this string is not going to go anywhere, I added some tape at the back and now I'm going to use my white Posca pen and add some highlighting on the butterflies. Now as I did in the last pages of this uh, 6x6 art journal book, I'm going to add some uh, washi tape and um, this is actually by Tim Holtz, I have tons of those and I try to use them all so this is uh, one that has uh, silver uh, glitter on top and I think it goes perfectly with uh, the silver details that I have from the foiling on my background you can't really tell from the video but trust me it's there and it's really pretty so now I'm just going to stick a few of those and then on top I'm going to stick my quote my quote is actually from a bag full of quotes which is called uh, quote chips and here is my final page a little bit dimensional as you can see and I think I will call this art journal book done as I won't be able to add any more pages 
And that was the page for today. I hope you had fun, that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.